Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome back to another video and today we're going to be reviewing the iPassport mini keyboard mouse combo for your Android TV or computer. So let's get right into it. Now if you go online to just browse for a keyboard mouse combo, you will find a bunch of different variations of the same thing right here. Except here, as you have guessed from the thumbnail and the title, this thing has RGB backlights, which is awesome. So first things first, let's take a look at the packaging. Basically it is very simple, just a regular box, nothing special. Inside of it you will find a manual that is very simple as well, it takes about 2 minutes to read. And there's a lot of good information about how to troubleshoot it, for example, when it does not work properly, as well as a nice micro USB cable. Now, taking a closer look here, we have first the arrow keys up, down, left, right, as well as enter. We have search, we have back, we have the menu, we have right click, left click, mute button, stop, home, pause, play, volume up and down, fast forward, back and forth, more mouse buttons over here. And of course a touchpad over here that also accepts gestures for scrolling and whatnot. And you do have three ways of controlling the mouse again. So you have the touchpad, so you can do the gestures to do the right clicks, or you can use these two buttons, or you can use these two other buttons. Over here you have a bunch of LED indicators, you have three LEDs, one for the battery, one I don't know what it is, and the third one is a Wi-Fi indicator, letting you know that it's connected and whatnot. So here you have the escape button, F1 to 10, plus 11 and 12 through the FN key. And you have the button for troubleshooting. You have the backlight LED, so you use the FN key to activate it and switch between the colors you want. Here we have the keyboard lock, print screen, touchpad lock, and over here we have home, page up, page down, backspace for the whole keyboard layout. And over here we have something very interesting. If you take a look here, we actually have a control out delete button that can be activated, which is really nice. So you can activate that by holding FN key and pressing that as well. And here we have another interesting part of it, and that is actually a speed changer for the touchpad. So it's like a DPI switch on your mouse, so you can change the speed of how the touchpad reacts when you move it across the screen. So we'll be testing that out in just a bit. Taking a look at the top, we have the on-off button, as well as the micro USB port for charging the built-in battery. Taking a look at the back, we have a bunch of textured grips. They're not rubber, they're just part of the same body. It is very nicely built and very lightweight. And over here we have the battery compartment, as well as the USB dongle needed to operate this thing wirelessly. Now if you take a look, this thing is actually based off the old Nokia batteries, believe it or not. Uh, I've seen this multiple times in Chinese devices, where they use a Nokia model battery to power their devices, which is really nice, keeping the legacy going on. And there's actually a battery compartment for the AAA batteries, except they're not soldered on since this thing is being used to operate this thing which is great. So let's turn off the lights and power this thing on. All right, so I have hooked it up to the TechClast X5 Pro here and let's turn it on. And now it is activated. You can see the LED here is uh, connected. Basically, when you press the buttons, it will show you that it is activating with the LED, that is, it is sending the signal. And you can see that the touchpad is working, which is nice. Now um, let's turn on the LED. So you hold the F and key and you wanna press F2. And just like that, you can switch between the RGB colors red, green, and blue, and they just look really, really awesome. Especially the uneven distribution of the LEDs makes it really cool since it's got this really nice flamey effect, which I really like. Now this is more of what it looks like in real life, and uh, it again, it looks just beautiful. Uh, here's the green color. They are All the colors here are very nice and bright. Everything is nicely lit. You can see most of the keys, and uh, yeah, it's just, pretty awesome looking. So let's test out the control alt delete here. So we have that and let's press that and boom, just like that, that works. Um, now let's test out the touchpad speed changer. So right now we're moving at the slowest speed. So for more accuracy, you want the lowest speed and you can see you can do really fine tuning with the touchpad. Now if you hold the FN key and hit the space bar, you will get a faster speed. And if you hit it one more time, you will get an even faster speed. You can go all over the screen and you can go from corner to corner very easily with uh, minimal effort, which is really nice. Now the backlight actually activates as soon as you touch the touchpad or the keyboard and it deactivates about 10 seconds later of inactivity, which is really nice to save the battery. But again, we are running a Nokia battery that is rechargeable, which is really nice. So just like that, it turned off and now it turned on by touching the touchpad. Now, if you have an Android TV box or whatnot, you can really definitely benefit from this thing. You can easily navigate Kodi with the side uh, buttons over here. You can enter and you can go back just like so. You got the escape button, you got the keyboard, and everything again is nice and tactile. So that is a big plus, which I'll show you in just a bit why. Now if you're wondering how easy it is to type with this keyboard, let me show you an example here.
Now, as you guys can see here, I have typed, here I am typing on this keyboard and it is pretty good and pretty quick to type with. Now, I had some issues here, but um, overall it is a really good keyboard to type with, especially if you're doing a quick search on your TV box. All right, and that is pretty much it for this video, guys. Uh, this thing is totally awesome. I totally recommend it. Commando approved, just like that. And this thing has become my favorite TV box controller. Since I already have a bunch of different controllers and they all sucked because they were all mushy and they did not work and they were clunky and they were not as comfortable as this beautiful thing right in my hands. So yeah guys, uh, comfort wise, great, it's rechargeable, it's got a backlight, it's got functionality and it is very comfortable to type with and easy to type with as guys can see. So. Thank you guys for watching, hope you guys have enjoyed this video and found it helpful, if you did, hit the like button and subscribe for more content like this, and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care everyone.